Welcome back to another animation analysis. And this time we're gonna take a look at the student showreel of 2019 from Animation Mentor. Right off the bat, I love the look. And if you are fascinated by the renders the way I am, they are right there in the credits amongst other people, of course, in the credits. But I just love the look already. There's a lot of cool stuff here in terms of the weight right off the bat. You can tell the timing is great. The sense of weight is great. The nice poses. Love the squishiness and the stylization of the prop and the character. I'm gonna switch colors here. This is really cool too. You got the cool impact of this on the ground, your squishiness in the wheels, but it does impact the character, including the helmet there. It's very cool. We're gonna get clean poses. Look at that. It's nice. It's very cool. Love that shot. I'm always a big fan of props and it'll set pieces interacting and animating. You can see a little bit of a wiggle in this. Of course, the effects here are awesome. I love all this. That's really cool too. I love the timing of this. Really nice clean poses. That's really cool too. Look at that. Come on. I know this is going to be like half an hour for me going, <laughs> come on. But love the poses. Love the timing. Anticipation of all this. Look at that. Beautiful shapes there. Bow, 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 bow. Everything that's going on in here catches out again. Look at that. Ooh, so cool. All those effects. I love this. Such a cool look. It's very cool. Then off the bat, this one too. Big fan of the look. Now, I say in previous clips that you should not focus on the render. The animation should be awesome. But in this case, the animation is already awesome. And here's a great example of showing what you can do with great animation when once you uh, add set pieces and lighting and sound effects and music. It's so great. But let's go back to the animation. I love this here. This is a really cool moment of just having that kind of a creaturey beginning pose. I love that it doesn't go straight into this, that it has just that moment. Just love that. I just love that character goes back. You got changes in the fingers here. Getting into this. I love all this too here. The that. Look at this. I love that ripple in here. Great mechanics. There's a lot of this that I really like in terms of just showcasing what's going on with the nice, clean, separate colors. I love that beginning anticipation pose. I love that you have very complicated mechanics where the camera pan allows you to do all this. A lot of times, mentors and teachers, I'm guilty of this as well, we kind of recommend the static camera so you can just focus on the animation. Because camera work is complicated, it's difficult, it's not an easy thing to do, and CG cameras can always look very static and complicated. Not complicated, but just not, you know, kind of clunky. But this is really well done, and it helps because it gives room for the character to go somewhere. And again, I love the mechanics, I love the sliding of this. Very cool. And this is going to be just me just gushing all the time. But I just, I just love everything about this shot here. It's a very cute integration of this cute character with that. I love the constant focus on this with that pose. It's very cool. Just in general, the posing, the contrast, the timing. Let's go back here. Sorry, it's a long clip. So when I screw up, it goes all the way back. I think it has really good rhythm too, where it's a bit slower. It gives us enough time as an audience member to know, understand where they are, know the characters. Then you got man, that really cute and complicated movement over there, which is very cool. Same for this one. I'm always a big fan of intros where something just kind of pops into frame. To me, this could be a really cool first shot on the reel. But this one as well, I mean, all of these are very well done. I really like the different hand poses. They're very clean and very detailed but the performance is great the asymmetry in the face is great all the movement in the body is great the usage of space look at that it's a very appealing facial pose i love that she uses space here um, a lot of times students also kind of have a character in one place and it's kind of locked like they're kind of afraid of, of showing weight shifts and mechanics and it's kind of like that dreaded ik legs on the ground bolted down they can't move and it's a bit of a bummer because with this you could show off the weight shifts and the changes look at that and you have opportunities to move big into a big pose it's just great love all this kind of little details and things like this big fan of props and using this again nice varied hand pose finger pose here Great weight, even simple things like an arm drop. It's a nice impact there, nice weight. 
Same thing here, character starting here in this place. Uh, again, nice usage of the background and colors, giving you a really nice silhouette. I love all this too, because whenever you have someone on stage, right? So you give this poster, light, curtains, this. Okay, this must be an audition or he's just doing something for theater. Now, because of that, it allows you to go big and technically, in quotation marks, overact, but on purpose, which is great. <laughs> Love this, just a great animation too. Also, names are always there. Very nicely done, nice finger poses. Love the stiffness. It's also great contrast in terms of lots of arcs, like lots of fluid movements, and then goes into arr, the stiffness. It's just a nice contrast and really nicely done. Oh, this one's great too. I mean, I know this is going to be the whole reel is going to be this, but and this is a good example of a static camera with a very, very, uh, like a one point, like very, very flat perspective, which is used in a lot of um, kind of comedy, indie movies, stuff like that. It's almost like a Wes Anderson thing with um, that type of outfit and those colors. But I love that in this case, it works. You want a static camera because beep, beep, you got that entrance, which, you know, if you would pan over, it would kind of ruin the surprise. So this is very clean too. Lots of exaggerated poses in here. Of course, usage of prop, which is nice. It's like this reel is made for me. <laughs> I love too that it's just someone taking the job so seriously, but to such an extent of just having fun with it. But great stuff there too in details with the hat. And I like this, I like that at the end, they got that little extra little thing here. Look at that, but then you can again showcase nice arcs and just like extra detail in terms of polish. Oh, it's great too. The the uh, the color. I mean, the rendering on this and the colors that helps with the silhouette and everything. It's just so well done. But I love this this change of expression with the drop in the mouth. To get that squishiness where you can feel the cheeks coming down and the nose being pulled down. So good. And then with that reaction, so good. What I like about this one too at the end is when her legs come up. You would think that, well, I'm going to do legs up and the legs drop. But look what this leg is doing. Separate exit, separate timing. And that is just that added little asymmetry, that little contrast. Let's watch this again here. So good. It just gives you that one little insight into the animator going, yeah, yeah, I know that I can't just go one axis up and down and repeat. No, no, no. I'm going to take care of every single piece of the body. Every body part is going to have its own movement, own timing full um, asymmetry and contrast is actually when i saw this clip this is one of the reasons why i thought oh i gotta talk about this because this is such a great example bang beep, beep. Oh, so good it's another great example of just a nice set a nice look I like that little ominous push uh, push in with the camera but it's good focus in terms of characters you know the eye contact is good a lot of times with uh with students or myself i always kind of double check that the eye line is not all funky it's a good connection there. It's also good back and forth in terms of when are we supposed to look. There's not a competing action in terms of a lot of movement and a lot of movement there. We know when to go back and forth. And it's cool too where we have that, that exit there. And this could be done. It's one of the examples that I bring up on my channel is that just because the audio is done doesn't mean that you have to be done. And it gives that character you know, a little bit of chance to have a reaction to all this, which is really cool. <laughs> It's great too. Just that, that the repetitiveness and all of that just goes into her pose of, oh, this is so boring. It's a great walk. Again, it's good contrast to it in her where she's just completely, oh, you can see just the posing, everything is, oh, and then fully straightening up. I love the contrast in that pose. It's great too where there's that stiffness where you have no darts, no blinks. She's completely mesmerized by this. I love that look. Cool too, I like that you switch from a wide where you can see full body mechanics to a closer look on the faces. Oh, such great expressions. Also tricky to do when you hold props that you don't have full IK arms where the body moves and kind of the, the hands and, and, and uh, arms kind of stuck in space. It's nicely done here where it feels connected to the body. <laughs> so good. 
Again, lots of extra nice little details on the hair. I love the change in expression, the, the stretchiness in the face. And look at that, it's just such a great look. And this is so good, I love that ending. A, again, because of the look, again, I have to just compliment the lighters. It's technically a simple step, uh, set, not step, but I love that. I love the little touches there, showing how out of control this party is. The nicely uh, depth of field, uh, out of focus elements. Great, I love that, that she's on the stairs. Like For me, it's always when you look at a set, a set can give you ideas for your poses. And again, because of this, it gives you asymmetry in the pose, but I love all of this. And I love that. Such a great, you know, it's not like she, I love it. It's not like she's yelling it, but the pose is kind of like, she's so drunk that she can only say this, but the pose tells her, tells us, oh, I, I love him and I really love you, not just like you. So good. And I like that drop against the wall. You can feel the weight. So good. Oh, this one's great too. It's a great contrast in movement. I love that. This, like beautiful poses, lots of movement, right? Lots of energy, lots of stuff happening. And then, oh, I get goosebumps. I love this. It's so cool how you have so much movement. And then it slows down and it fits the character. I mean, that's a pose and she has that as a ballerina and goes that little ping. The beautiful exit. Such a cool shot. I love it. Oh man, come on. This could be out of a movie. I love the the, uh, the changes in her posing and what she, like she uses him like a prop. Oh, so good, sorry, completely uh, transfixed by the poses. I like the, I'm attracted, I like that, the energy in the chest and the head. That it's not just feel like, you know, a pose and then a copy paste the lip sync where it's just kind of the jaw movement and it doesn't really affect the body. There's no, it doesn't quite feel like she's actually saying the words, but in this case, it's really well done. Because I like that, the, the rhythm in there that fits the audio. Love the timing on her move up into this. And I love that, stuff like that. Interaction stuff is always interesting to see. It's complicated to do with the constraints. And you want to really feel like they are connecting. It's great. That's <laughs> great too. Because technically, when you listen to the audio, she's kind of explaining what she likes. It's almost like an exposition. It's like she, she's going down a list of things she likes. And it's technically kind of boring to listen to. But I like that the animator used this moment with the list and, and oh, I like this and this and a character to push it, to push the animation, to do stuff like this. Tall and he's, he's little, so he uses that to push her up, showing weight. It's just a great usage of like a contrasting animation to the actual audio. It's always great when you actually frame through and you can see the drag there, so great. Great sense of weight, I like the bounciness on him. Again, just the attitude, the head accents. Oh, so good. This one was great too. Talk about a great usage of sound. So technically, Will Ferrell fairly used in animation and it's a very recognizable audio and I would technically not use it. But, and also the what he says here, I mean, his delivery is nice, of course, he's a good actor, but it's also a bit of a, an exposition type of thing where he explains, well, this is what happened. But what I love about this example Besides <laughs> this, it's great. I like how the head goes back with that shape. But I like that the contrast, oh, such a good set again. Sorry, I'm completely gushing over just the, the set pieces, the set dressing and everything. It's just so great. But I like that the contrast is that he, in the audio says how good he is, but in the animation, it's the opposite. I think this is a really great example of doing something very interesting and creative with the audio, right? Like a panther sucks his prey, but he's completely tired or drunk or just not really, not really what the audio is telling us. So I thought this was a really, really great example of using the audio in a very interesting way. This one's great too. I mean, I'm going to spoil, I mean, hopefully you've seen this before, but the usage of uh, the staging. And again, with the that type of lighting, I mean, that came afterwards, but with the audio, the, you can really use the exaggerated poses and expressions. It's great, look at that, I love all this here. It's really nicely done. With all the finger poses, the facial expressions, to get really, really close, but, yeah, yeah, such a great moment. <laughs> love her outfit, 
It's great. The line is great. Love this. I love that little reveal. Swoon. Oh, it's great again. I'm such a big fan of head accents and the way she does this. It's scary, so I'm just not sure. Even just a little subtle, not sure, with a little side to side. And then they're bringing out of the jaw. They're not sure. So good. It's great too. <laughs> Lots of detail there too. Nicely done. Next up, body mechanics. Something like this with lots of movement, you gotta have a moving camera to give you the freedom. Really nice posing and shapes there. Look at that. It's very cool. Nice clean poses. Nice weight. I like this here. Again, it's cool the usage of different camera angles to kind of showcase different aspects of the body mechanics where you want to change the camera to show off different types of silhouettes, different looks of it. It's great. It's great to hear that. Great pose. And I like, again, the usage where you go from far away to still moment of off screen and coming back down, seeing things more close up. Same thing here. I like the transition too in the, the, the Demeril flow, the jump and the jump and land. Full extension, of course. Nice. Great weight. Nice clean posing. Again, the set and the look. Come on. So good. Great to a little surprise there. Love all that little extra detail, of course. Clean poses, a little stretch. It's really cool. It's funny how it goes from super cartoony then to a really creepy looking real cat. It cracked me up when I was watching this. Nicely done, though. Nice camera work again. This being a bit more photo real look, you can use that with a bit more of a handheld realistic camera. It kind of fits the style. Wow, lots of complicated movements. Really nicely done, George. Oh yeah, I've seen this before actually on Twitter. This is really cool too. Combination of creature work with human. Love that. Love you can sense the the slipperiness. Always a big fan of using like I said uh, characters on a set. But I always tell my students if you have a set, think about it. Is it slippery? Could it be ice? Could it be something with little stones that make it slippery? Or is it grass or something where it's kind of sticky or swamp? Like this is up to you as an animator to show us what is the property of this and can you use this interesting way where the character is interacting with this? So right off the bat, yeah, yeah, love it. Oh, great! I love this too. Also rarely done where it's. Not lip sync in terms of there's an audio piece where someone talks, but it's actually the character going, hey! And even if this sound was added later, it's just, if you animate this, you don't need sound, you could, but you can still pretend to yell. You can still record this yourself, put that in Maya and animate to it. And I like that. I like that it's a non-lip sync piece where character actually still makes sounds technically. Great tool. Love that, that it's not super clean. It's off the cliff. Readjustments. Beautiful. I love this here too, where it's you would think that, well, I got to go up and land. But no, in that moment, I'm still doing some really cool movements, really clean poses. Love this. So great. Great. I love that sense of weight. Ba -bong, ba -bong. Oh, it's great. It's not clean where it's just kind of constraint and, and just kind of flattens there and stays. It just has a nice bounciness, a nice feel to it. Cool too with the camera to get closer because you want to show off the cool details here. Sorry, mesmerized. Silence, because I'm watching this going, this is so cool. Cool too, interesting perspective. Where you can showcase the stretchiness and kind of the danger of this character approaching. It's very cool. All the way to here. That's cool too. I'm a big fan when you have superhero stuff, different type of weight. It's nice. Nice weight there too on the landing. Doing. Cool. It reminds me of uh, Kung Fu Panda in a way. Lots of cool stretchiness, nice timing there. Again, something where you want all that movement, you have to have the camera go forward with it. It can't be a static move. That's cool too. Look at that. Love all this. And it's nicely done right there with the silhouette because of the sun setting. Nice done too with the glint. Again, whoever lit this, I don't know who did this specifically, but like a big, big applause to the lighting and rendering team. So cool. Love the contrasting aspects too, where you have a lot of jumping and everything, and then it goes into very flat crawling, just the different contrasting moves are really nice. Of course, I'm a big fan of dinosaurs and creatures and action stuff. 
it's so cool again big fan of that camera movement and you have elements in the foreground that gives you just interesting views where it's not just a flat surface you have all of this giving you a bit more contrast even just in the set for some parallax as well it's really nice love that look sorry i'm just so distracted in a good way this is great too that little just a nice moment of the arm drag giving us a really nice clear silhouette into this great great timing too here on that hold whoop bam good stuff i love that pose too all together there coming back with the curled tail so cool interesting i love this too where it's not it doesn't feel like it's a light like the character wants to be light on their feet and fight but you still sense the the weight of the suit boom boom bah. oh nice bah. very cool Oh, and it's done. What a bummer. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a half an hour longer. So cool. Congratulations to all the students. This is absolutely amazing work. And of course, the credits here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give all those people a raise. A raise, I say. It's like Gimli in Lord of the Rings. A mine, a mine. They should be yelling, a raise, a raise. Fantastic. So cool. Now, if you like all this, of course, link in the description where you can apply. I'm biased because I teach there, but come on. You can tell there's so much talent in there. Great work overall. So if you want to watch the, the whole reel without me uh, blathering about it, link in the description for the whole thing uh, and check out Animation Mentor if you want to apply to the school. Um, yes, I'm biased because I teach there, but it's a great community, great people organizing this. The mentors are great. Just overall, can't recommend it enough. Fantastic. <laughs>